I'm back from that last video, and let's, man, let's uh, place one of these back there. Actually, we might want to, oh, oopsie, well, there, man, Ugh. wow, if you look at all this, man, there, Perfect. 50 seeds we can place down now, which we'll actually do here. Uh, and we're probably going to uh, feed a lot of this to our uh, animals, the cows, sheep. Um, I don't know when we're going to be making it coop for those chickens. Not anytime soon is what I know because, uh, not in this video because, you know, uh, we're going to be finding some redstone in that cave. Oh, man. So, yeah, so, uh, we're probably going to be doing that. Wow. You guys are busy. 13, or, well, a lot more than 13, but, so that's like, 45 eggs you had. Jesus. Man, you guys really have been busy. Well, <clears throat> I guess now is a good time as ever to uh, <laughs> breed these guys. Uh, hey guys. There. Yeah. And, uh, well, I guess I don't really need to fix any of this situation. These guys, you know, they're good enough, I guess. Um. Oh, actually, well, it's night time now, and you know, we don't want to mine at night, so I'm probably just going to sleep then. Actually, before we sleep, um, I'm going to actually make some bread. Uh, well, I guess I could probably f make another child. Mm, now that I think about it. This might be a good way to get some gunpowder. Yeah, you too. Uh, this might be a good way to get some gunpowder. Um, actually. So, from the creepers. So, we might actually want to do that instead. And now what we could do, actually... Which would be the safer option, which I'm probably going to do now, is uh, we're actually going to um, get in this boat and just look around in this area, see if there are any. Trident. Oh, that guy has a trident. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. Well, yep, looks like we have a creeper here. Oh, two, actually. Now, I know we're gonna, uh... Two... Should die on this third one. Oh, fourth then? Yep. Hmm. Nothing. Well, that's probably what we should expect. Who, who did that? Uh, you know, uh, actually, I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> Maybe it was some 
normal natural circumstances or uh, I don't know how I'm gonna deal with this guy. Okay, let's actually get out. I don't want to be impaled by a trident, so. Uh oh. Oh, uh oh. This isn't good. Uh, we're not in the best situation here anymore. Uh, let's. I could probably. Okay. <laughs> Now the spiders. Now the spiders are in the equation. I, uh, uh, I don't know if I should stay here anymore. Uh, oh, oops. Okay. Nothing. Still. Wow. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you. When are you gonna get here? When are you gonna get over on land, huh? You're taking forever. <laughs> oh, man. He didn't even drop a trident himself. What is he holding? I don't want to stick around to find out. <laughs> okay, let's go. And now I think this might actually empty out into the ocean. Yeah, it sure does. Wow, that's... Oh, only two of them. Well... That's not that bad. Now, I wonder... Drowned swims, huh? Uh-oh. I have to be very careful about this, because... Is that a little baby drowned? Huh? Whoa! Oh, I didn't realize he could do that. Wow, I thought, hmm, that's strange. Uh, well, I mean, probably because I usually play the better opposition. That wouldn't be so strange. Now, let's see. There's that guy over there. There's that guy over there, but he's further in the forest, so let's get this guy first. Wow, that's a lot of zombies. Man. Ooh. Well, uh, oh, perfect, finally, wow, that's four of them, Jesus, they're all walking the line, huh? It's actually getting closer today, so I should be fine. I could probably just jump back into the water and get away from these guys. So. Not too bad of a situation here. Perfect. Now we have a lot of rotten flesh, and that's building up on us. We're probably not going to need to use it anytime soon, but I'm just going to keep it just in case. Not necessarily in an emergency. However, you know, we could use it in a pinch if we needed to. Perfect. That drowned is probably gonna kill him. Yeah. Before. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Well, 
Uh, I think I lost the creeper, actually. Oh, no, he's right there. And actually, I think we got, yep. Got an arrow from that. Oh, multiple. Well, I think that's it then. But we weakened him. So, oh, perfect. Wow. That was real easy. Well then. I, uh... I think we've, um... Uh, I was, I said, I was about to say, I think we pushed our luck a little too far, but, I mean, uh, it doesn't really matter too much anymore. Daytime has come, or is coming, so, that wouldn't really matter in the first place, now would it? I wonder, well, yeah, wow, there's a lot more sugar cane here. Which is actually going to be pretty useful for the amount of fireworks we're making. Um, so we're probably going to take that. Oh, hello. Of course, we've been fighting a lot of these uh, monsters this video. And really, we don't need to. We can always just run away from the situation whenever we want to. And here, I think, is probably the best idea. Of course, we can always just watch him or wait, you know, for the sun, which will come very soon. Yep, and there he is. Doesn't even notice me. Oh, now he does. And he doesn't anymore. Well, perfect. Now my boat was destroyed, so I'm probably gonna have to walk back home. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that then. Uh, cause shame, I suppose, for you know being negligent about my transportation. Of course, uh, as I was gonna say, there can be a few stragglers out here. Who might have survived the first little round of uh, sunlight, but you know you could probably just take them out anyways. They wouldn't be too difficult to take out in the first place anyways. So yeah, don't know. Blue base Dexter Canton and a uh, red Paley. Now that I think about it, that wasn't particularly hard to make. I mean. Anyways, well, yeah. American. No. There it is. Perfect. Well. There it is. And, uh, there. Now, um. There's some sugar cane. Right. Right. Uh. Hold on. Let me get some more. Paper right here. Uh, there. Just get some paper and uh, let's see. Yep. We're just gonna make some paper and then I think you can make. I don't know. I want to see if I can get some dye here. But you can probably. Uh, I'm just gonna get that. Uh, turn this into. I'm probably just gonna turn this all into dye. And then. Now, I wonder if you could probably make. When I. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So, you can make. This. This. And. Oh, let's just make. Let's just make that. And then make another firework rocket thing so we're gonna have this oh that's strange I thought you could oh. that's funny well, I thought you could probably put the uh, firework stars with the uh, 
firework rockets. I guess I was wrong then. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna uh, do something real quick. Okay, so I figured it out. You need more gunpowder. <sighs> you need more gunpowder and uh, more paper with the firework stars to make some firework rockets. Uh, that's... Man. So I just made these... Uh, useless fireworks. I guess they're not useless, but damn, that sucks. I just wasted all that bone meal for nothing. Whatever, it's fine. Anyways, oh, I guess it didn't completely destroy my boat. Well then, let's just put that back in there. Man, that's disappointing. Well. Yes. I'll just put that back there. Now we need to wait a little more for daytime to come, which is going to take so long. Well, I guess now's the better time than ever to go back in that cave then. So I guess I'll do that then. And actually, before we go, let me see if we can do something. Right, so you can uh, repair. Mm. Mm, that's. Well, I guess we could always just get some more wool, so it won't be that bad. Trade off. There we go. Let's go back inside, and, uh, we'll just put this and this, unless, nah, it doesn't do anything. Right, so we just have this shield here, slightly more durability, I believe, than, uh, both of them combined. So, we'll just have that, and then we'll make another banner with, uh, another white banner. And then we'll take this American flag and we'll put that here. And we'll put that there. Perfect. And actually, I'll put this back there. And wonderful. Now we have our banner there. Perfect. Okay, wonderful. Now we can uh, put our wool back. And, uh, there. And actually, we can... We can do something else with, uh, our sticks. And this iron, too. We'll make a iron sword. It's slightly better than the stone sword that we're using right now. Uh, that's both in durability and damage, too. As it does six bits of attack damage. Which is quite a lot. Uh, enough that I believe we might want to retire our stone sword for a little while. Or pro possibly indefinitely. So, we're just gonna put that down there. And, uh, yeah. And actually, we don't need the stone hoe for our mining expedition. So, we're probably just gonna have that. And... Yeah, that'll be about it. And uh, we'll just take some dirt with us as sort of scaffolding material. And uh, let's get some water with us. And I think oh, uh, let's probably make let's just make some more torches here. And I think we're good to go. So, yeah. Um, actually, 
where would our hole be? I, it's somewhere, yeah, it's here. Perfect. You know, with our mining shack, we could probably connect the two coordinates between these places and use them to, like, link the uh, two areas together so we could have the mining shack go even further down here. Um, at a much safer, you know, risk to our cells. Let's go down. Now, we did see an. Oh, wow, you can see me from that far away. Well, okay. We did see a. Um, oh, wow. He has an iron shovel. Interesting. But yeah, some zombies can actually hold items. Sort of like skeletons holding a bow, you know. Um, which actually can be pretty useful if you ever uh, uh, you know, Actually, I think now might be the time to uh, leave. Yeah, probably so. I think I'm actually gonna go. Yeah, because we don't have too much food now. And ooh, we've got ourselves ourselves quite a crowd. Uh-oh. Oops. Well... Good thing is, uh, zombies actually can't climb water. They actually fall down in it. And, uh, that's how you get drowned, actually. Funny enough. Ha! <laughs> you died. <laughs> I wonder if there's another guy next to us. No. Oh. What is that? What is that thing? Weird. I hope you guys saw that too. There was some weird shimmering thing over there. Strange. I wonder if what was that? Um, strange. If you guys could, s like, see what that was, that'd be pretty neat. Alright. Like, um, when you're watching the video, that'd be, uh, great if you could do that. Because I couldn't see what that was, actually. It was a very strange... Well, we've barely made any progress uh, in this little ledge over here. Okay, I'm leaving now. That's enough. I can tell, I can tell when I've, when my fun's over. Jesus. He's sprinting towards me now. Okay. I think I'm gonna... Just make that little thing. <sighs> Thank goodness. I had these apples. I hadn't even used these from the first few videos. Man. that guy go weird well anyways but that little ledge there dude he had full freaking chainmail armor if you didn't know chainmail is uh 
type of armor that's less useful than iron armor. Um, and it can only be found in either tr chests or on mobs. You can't make it yourself. Ooh, we found some more iron. That is very good. And some coal. More copper as well. So this is all very, very useful. Um, just gonna light up every little bit of this here. Uh, everywhere the light touches is, uh, our land, so. Oops. Now, uh, actually, I'll show you the difference between an iron pickaxe and a, uh, stone pickaxe. At least with mining iron. So, uh, let's just break that, and then let's break that a little bit quicker. Now, what's neat about red, uh, no, no, what's neat about iron pickaxes, right, is that they don't just mine faster, they can actually mine more things than a stone pickaxe can. So, right. A uh, wooden pickaxe can only mine stone and coal. They can't mine iron, they can't mine uh, lapis or anything like that. But a stone pickaxe can mine coal, stone, iron, lapis, and I think that's about it. With iron, they can mine stone, coal, iron, uh, lapis, redstone, gold, Diamond, I think that's it. Oh, and I forgot about copper, but you know they can all mine that too. Now, um, we of course don't need to use this. This we'll uh, use when our stone pickaxe breaks, of course. But um, you know we'll uh, you know it'll just be there, you know, just in case. However. Some materials you might want to, you know, mine them a little bit faster, like this coal here. As well, it's not as it's near, not nearly as valuable as, you know, uh, more iron, but you know, it's still there. And I think that's this whole ledge, um, or at least all its minerals collected. So. Uh, I don't know what else we'd be doing up here, other than knocking this guy. Actually, I want to see if we can knock him back, so far back down there, let's, let's see. <laughs> wow. Some more gold. Wow, that's a lot of stuff down there. And some more iron down here. Oh, wow. Even up here. Well, make sure to get this. And there. Well, how much iron do we have? We have 17. We can actually use that to make the rest of our iron armor. And that's probably what we'll do now that I think about it. Probably make our way back up to our home base. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, and along the way we'll uh, probably stop by this one spot. Now this is very, very uh, low down in the uh, round down there. However, I did see some redstone. Now you can't mine it with the stone pickaxe, so we'd have to have our iron one out. Oh, dude, I almost dropped that. What's interesting about Zombies is that they can actually um, pick uh, different 
uh, items up. Alright, let's get this real quick then. Oh yeah, it's a funny thing about redstone. When it's being mined, it can actually, uh, what happens, or if you step on it, or jump on it, or, you know, with, when anything comes in contact with it, basically, it, uh, lights up. It's really neat about that, little thing about it. That's a nice little thing that you can, uh, control about redstone. So, yeah. Well, it's still nighttime, actually. Well, um. Hmm. I wonder where else we could probably go. I mean, ooh, I, we could probably, um, get the rest of that coal up there, but. I don't know what else to do down here. I guess I could tell you what this stuff is right here. This here is uh, glow lichen. If you see, if you've seen some uh, moss around your uh, world that you see growing around trees, this is basically, or not moss, wait, vines, right? Basically, like vines. Uh, you can just, the the only way to get them is through shears. So, um. As I did it, you know, you can only break them with shoes. Um, and so the funny thing about uh, uh, glow lichen is that they actually glow. So, uh, yeah, that's neat. Anyways, uh, um, anyways, well, I think I'm going back home now. I saw it again. I saw it again. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. What is that? What is that? Maybe it's just experience? I don't know. What is that? Strange. Well, anyways, I think that was a pretty successful mining trip. I've lost two things of hunger overall. And I've, and I only have two things of health now, so, overall, pretty good, uh, mining trip, gotta say. Alright, alright, let's go. Alright guys, well, man, that was wild. Alright, let's, uh, yeah, go back inside well guys let's see what we got from that we got overall we got 36 bits of redstone dust 17 bits of raw iron and 10 pieces of coal as well as two things of gunpowder and two bits of raw flesh I think overall that was a good mining trip actually I'm probably gonna eat these apples <laughs> Uh, yeah. Man. Well. Let's, um. Oh, man. That was a crazy trip. I must say. Anyways. Well, um. I guess I'll show you what I was trying to show. So this here is a, a dispenser. Uh, and actually, I'll show you what redstone dust can do. Uh, let me get a button here. So this here is a dispenser. It can, uh, shoot a ton of different things. Actually, I wonder if... Um, actually, yeah, we'll, we'll use eggs as an example. Here. Um, there. Let's just place a... Oh. Let's place a button down there, and then <laughs> it uh, threw an egg. It uh, basically just throws a bunch of things, whatever's in its little uh, area here, and uh, it just spits them out. Um, 
it's very very neat too and, and actually what's cool about it is that yeah well, let's just use this ex as an example right is that uh, you can actually spit anything out that you want right so you, oh that's well let's just put it back in so you can just oh wow and that sinks away let's just do it from there it spits out basically anything that's in there um you know little area here and uh what's neat about it actually let's put let's put a piece of die right in there is that you don't have to have the button right there what else is neat here well let's just show you this this here is a redstone or yeah it's basically like a bunch of wires right it's very very neat um and it kind of gives a controlled response too especially with that button being there so you know you can press that button and it doesn't have to be right next to the dispenser another thing that it can launch is uh, fireworks that is probably what we're going to be using here with our fireworks so yeah let's get some paper and uh it's raining now, so let's let's see if we can let's see if that uh search was right. Let's see. And there, yep, sure was. White, red, and hmm, that's disappointing. We don't have another piece of gunpowder for our firework, small blue. And, well, I suppose we'll be uh, seeing that in the next video that I'll be um, you know, having later on today. Which, you know, guys. In three, two, one. Three, two, one. Let's three, two. One. I'm gonna have to wait this long. Jeez. Hold on. Wait a second. I'm sure it'll pop up any moment now. Come on. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. It's 3 a.m. It's 3 a.m. It's the spooky hour. Anyways, Jesus. See, look at look at what I'm doing for you guys. I'm staying up. Well, I mean, I, I guess this is really my fault. See, I don't want uh my I don't really want my family knowing that I have a Minecraft YouTube channel. It'd be way too embarrassing for them to know about this. It's funny. My first subscriber wasn't actually it actually wasn't my mom or my dad or my grandparents. So you know. There's some, uh, I can't, <clears throat> it's probably somewhere in my email, I'd imagine. So, well, yeah. Anyways, but, uh, uh man, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Uh, bye. It'll be later on today. Anyways, see you later. Bye. Have a nice rest of your